down here at the 2019 Indiana Robotics Invitational World Champions here, 217, the Thunder Chickens. These guys have had an amazing last four years, three Einstein appearances. Of course, last year in 2018, they were finalists, and now this year they are champions. Here with Roger, Ryan, and Matt. We're going to check out a lot more about this amazing machine here on Behind the Bumpers. Uh, so we're going to start out. Uh, we have kind of three major components to talk about here. Uh, talked about the climber, uh, the telescoping arm, feeler things coming in. Why don't you start us off? What are you going to tell us about? Uh, I'm going to start talking off about the uh, climber. So our climber is a bit different than most teams. So what we do is we have our arm and our intake. What it does is first off, it flips over onto the third level or the second level. You never know. And then on the bottom here, we have a little bit of wheels, uh, you know, so they have a bit traction. So what they do is they pull us forward a bit. Then we have in the back here, we have our um, stilts, which they're powered by string. They have, um, they're all wound up over here. So they go down, they push us up. They have one way bearings at the bottom. So they move us forward as we're going. Our wheels down here, they drive us forward. We pull up the stilts, then we go all the way up. Obviously very effective this year on this team as well, too. And we see this arm moving here, so I want to hear a little bit more, of course, about uh, perhaps some of the intakes, some of the cool telescoping carbon fiber. Why don't you run us through some of this? So I'm Ryan, and I'll talk a little about the intake. So for cargo, we use uh, Neo motors, and just one motor controls both the top and the bottom using the string. And we use the traction wheels, pull it in, and it, it's constantly uh, pulling the ball in so it stays in. And then we can spit it out, or we can just drop it. And then for the hatch mechanism, we use a pneumatic piston right here, and it pops out, and we could drive through, and then we can open it up, just like that, and it sticks the hatch against the wheels so it stays uh, steady, and then we just drive against the Velcro using our vision, and it sticks. Why don't you wrap us up here? Uh, of course, we have this amazing telescoping arm, and this is uh, definitely something very cool to see. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about this? Yeah, so um, we were a little short in weight, so we decided to turn to a carbon fiber arm, and then we want to go a little higher, so we decided to make a telescope. Um, there's string in there in a figure eight pattern to make sure it can go uh, forwards and backwards quickly, but also not get tangled up in there. Um, we have it geared uh, really low, so it can go very quick. And then once we go up real high, and uh, we can't get to the top level until we start to telescope out, then we can place our hatch. And, you know, it just helps us keep our CG in. It helps keep us light and helps us keep us moving. So I'm going to wrap up here and ask you one thing, of course, about the World Championship this year. You guys have had a lot of progression. I go back in first a long time. And remember, Thunder Chickens being one of the greatest powerhouses in first. Uh, a little bit of a lull, and then you guys have really climbed back up the last few years. What's really attributed to that success? Um, just constantly changing your robot throughout the season, you know, not being okay with what we have, just constantly trying to improve, you know, adding new things as the season goes on. Well, excellent. Thank you for taking the time. Absolutely phenomenal machine. 217 Thunder Chickens here at IRI. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.